Nationwide, by your side, Talk Radio and Talk TV. Hi, very good evening. It's Petri here with you through until one o'clock. Um, of course, coming up at midnight, we have the phone in. Uh, and the question this evening, amongst many others, or tomorrow morning, is what would make it easier to report domestic violence? Um, give me a call, 0344 499 1000. Now, though, it is time to catch up with the latest in movie land. And Van Connor, who's a film critic, joins me now. Good evening, Van. Good evening, Petri. Pleasure as always. Looking lovely, and, I see. Another radiant floral dress. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, it's, it's all second hand. I, I only buy, um, re- you know, recycled clothes, vintage and places like that. It's all sustainable clothing. So I, I, I can't think. make the same. I'm, I'm the worst. I'm, I'm a fast fashion fiend. Ah, I can't say anything. You see, no, I, I yeah. swore that I would only ever wear recycled clothing you're on, a better person than me yeah. clearly but it's nice it's lovely yeah. anyway um my name is alfred hitchcock i wish because i think he's brilliant i, I, I was gonna him. say yeah yeah i love hitchcock movies and i don't think you can ever remake them well do you know what i agree with you and as we all learned in 1998 thanks to gus van sant and vince vaughn that should absolutely be never the case happen. forever never yeah. remake no. a hitchcock movie um this one's gonna be right up your alley so we're a bit thin on the ground for theatrical releases you know this sort of weekend that we've just had because mission impossible opened at the beginning of last week so they've, they've just given it the run of the place yeah. for near a fortnight barbie and oppenheimer aren't until friday we can't even talk about barbie until after midnight wow. which kind of messes up for time timing and embargoes but this documentary is here to save the day in fact we've got a couple of decent ones for you that are out this week uh, my name is alfred hitchcock it's a new documentary from dog wolf and basically uses the voice talents of none other than alistair mcgowan with a screenplay by wow. uh, its its director mark cousins that basically takes us back through the career of alfred hitchcock in the words and imagined tone of alfred hitchcock oh my god i love so it already get, Yeah, so you get McGowan playing Hitchcock, talking about his own body of work to a 21st century audience and how it works when you're used to viewing TikToks and things like that. It's really something, it's really clever. It's really. I've got a clip for you if you want to get a sense of the tone for yourself. But like I say, it takes you through the whole back catalogue. And how would you like us to look at your films in the 21st century, Alfred? I'd like you to look at Janet in that lonely, remote shower and see yourself in her, her hope, your vulnerability. You certainly wanted us to look at faces and desire, didn't you? Oh, wow. Where can I see this? So this is in cinemas from Friday. This is being distributed by Dog Wolf from Friday. So this is this is being sort of quietly curtailed uh, against uh, against the the, the likes of you know yeah. Mission Impossible etc. So it's out now. So you can you can you can see this. Sorry, it's out this Friday. You can see this one. Uh, very much look forward to it. It's uh, it's got uh, bevy who's who of the archival sort of guest guests Amazing. in the in the cast. They're like Paul Newman, Sean Connery, people like that. All in their classic footage, and to say, seeing it sort of imagined through the prism of what Hitchcock would be like in today's society, viewing it through the prism of oh, today's. I love it. It's what a footage. clever they're idea. They don't go nuts, but yeah. it's, it's a good one. That's yeah, a, a good clever, one. clever idea. Uh, they cloned Tyrone. Are we talking AI here? Uh, do, do you know what you think it? No, this is a lot more Invasion of the Body Snatchers, would you Ooh. believe? So, debut movie from uh, writer and director Jewel Taylor, stars John Boyega, Tayona Paris, and Jamie Foxx. I think Jamie Foxx is also producing on it. Uh, this is the new Netflix one for this week. And it's effectively sort of a 70s-inspired but contemporary set black exploitation, black comedy sci-fi movie, Ooh. for lack of a better term, in which a pimp and a low-level drug dealer find themselves uncovering a vast conspiracy that sees a sinister white control over the black projects in North America in order to run a secret series of experiments on the populace. Wow, what was somebody drinking when they wrote this? 
I think smoking, given yeah, the tone of the smoking, smoking or snorting, yeah, given the yeah. tone of the movie. Crikey. Yeah, they, they, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of white powder around within <laughs> the movie. Absolutely deranged. I think halfway between Black Dynamite and Invasion of the Body Snatchers, but with John Boyega in full attack the block mode. And there's a bit of attack the block about it, actually. I've got a clip for you to, to, to set the sort of the, 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 the sensibility okay. out there for you, because it's a very singular movie. Yeah, sounds it. Your pimp hand raise <laughs> and be willing to protect the ones you love by any means necessary. Nice key. I'm a dope boy, remember? Excuse me, kind sir, but if you could pull me to the elevator that leads down to the Freaky Laboratory, the back door. I'll be out your atmosphere. Let's get my. Actually, it sounds quite fun. It is. To be fair, it is. Yeah. It's a little bit overcooked in the way that, for instance, even Black Dynamite was, but that's more in paying true homage to the yeah. style of the movies that it's, it's referencing, which were slower-paced movies. This isn't quite the likes of a Wham Bam Edgar Wright-style riff, but it's, it's, it's got it in spades, and it comes largely through the charisma of its three leads. Comes through... I mean, Jamie Foxx is always good value for money, and Tayona Paris is very quickly emerging as, as a bankable persona in her own right. But of course, John Boyega, I've got all the time in the world for. I absolutely love John Boyega. I love to, I think he's underused, but I love him in the Star Wars uh, sequel trilogy. Uh, Pacific Rim Uprising, terrible, terrible sequel, and yet he's great in it. Oh, yeah. Sometimes and then, you just need the actor, yeah. don't you? It's just that. Yeah, and then, it. you, then of course, you know, The Woman King, in which he really just showed up to play in his Darshiki, just pimping it out mad style <laughs> like just having the time of his life and hats off to you would yeah no it's just brilliant um listen these are things that are released now and and they've been made uh, some time ago edited some time ago written some time mm -hmm. ago the future is not so bright is it because of the strikes the actors are now joining uh, and supporting the writers' strikes. They're fearing for the future and technology, taking the jobs of actors uh, and also taking the jobs of writers, which is going to put future programmes in jeopardy, surely. Uh, absolutely is. And it's we're getting that way already. I mean, uh, you, you look at the proliferation, for instance, of uh, visual effects being used to de-age actors, to bring actors back from the dead mm. and things like that. And those are the ones that, you know, they have permission for. The uh, the, Ameri the the Alliance for Motion Picture and Television Producers Association you know, that that they've made it very clear that you know this is not something that they're willing to sort of keep up forever. You know they're already talking. They put a motion forward this past few weeks for scanning extras, like when they get like extras. Yeah, they pay them for one day's work. Pay them for one day, but to scan them into a computer whilst they were doing it so that they would be able to use them in perpetuity forever. Free of and charge. And it then came out, yeah. free of charge, it then came out that apparently this had already been going on on the set of Cruella a few years ago, in which extras had been discreetly escorted away to a trailer nearby, like two at a time over the night shoots and scanned one by one what? and made to sign an extra disclaimer. Yeah, so this is something that should be taken very seriously very quickly and as far as writers go again we're kind of seeing already the idea that studios you know would be willing to simply have an ai come up with a pitch for you know insert whatever property here yeah and then just get say to the writer you know okay now write us a script out of this you know and you then don't have to pay that writer as much because it's not their original yeah. idea or i mean it's know, terrifying it isn't it and yeah. the protections have got to be put in place and also the writers are not paid residuals uh, properly for all the platforms that things go mm. on to it, it is an absolute disgrace and and the arts are really really going to suffer from from uh, ai and what what it plans to do um but we could be looking at a bleak television future of repeats uh well, if we really this doesn't end yeah yeah, I mean, the last writer strike that we had uh, in, in, in our recent history yeah. was 2007, 2008, and that led to the birth of reality television. So if you think about how bad that was oh, for the entertainment industry, <laughs> I don't think I want to go through that again. Oh, we, we should come up with need... a reality show, Van, we could be in at this point. Yeah, you know, we, we, we'd be good for the contestants together, yeah. I think, Patrick. Uh, do you that's, know what I think? Future, we should really. do that Gogglebox thing. Ooh. 
Oh, we, I'd go for that. I, I'd definitely go for that. I've always fancied doing that. Mind you, I'd be sacked within the first week, so um, because my Same. swearing is completely off the charts. Um, Van, as ever, it is a joy to talk to you. Thank you so much. Um, and we'll talk to Van Connor very, very soon. Van Connor there, uh, film critic.